There you go. A little, <laughs> little chopping action there. One of the best things to happen as a result of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny hitting theaters is we got a lot of new Indiana Jones merch just hanging out on shelves. Like, I bought an Indiana Jones shirt the other day. I bought a bunch of different toys from the franchise. And it was kind of funny, honestly. I didn't realize, like how excited I was until I found this bad boy hanging out in Target and I went to go check out and the cashier was like big Indiana Jones fan and I looked down and I was wearing an Indiana Jones shirt holding this Indiana Jones action figure like my childhood Eric is overjoyed right now that we're getting all of this Indiana Jones merch but I want to go ahead and break down the three things that I got Um, so I'm going to talk about these throughout this video so you can take a look and decide if it's something that you would want to get for yourself or for your kids. But let's be honest, it's probably for you. If you're watching this, you're getting this for you. Don't lie and say it's for your kids. It's, it's for you. So the first thing I grabbed was this uh, whip action Indiana Jones. Uh, I'm going to review that last since it's the biggest. I'm going to start with the smallest. And these are the reproductions of the Kenner toys. So Kenner also did famously the 1977 Star Wars film. They created a lot of toys that looked literally just like this. And so it was really fun seeing these in the retro packaging. And again, I'm so excited that there's not only just Indiana Jones merch, but like we're getting some like deep cut Indiana Jones merch. Like who would have thought that you would get a Belloc action figure in the full high priest garb? Like I did not expect to see that on shelves in 2023. This is one of five characters that they made action figures for uh, in the Kenner line. You can kind of see them there. I uh, really love the packaging on this. Super simple. This would look good if you were hanging it up somewhere. I personally don't usually keep boxes. Um, I have one figure that I really do that for. Um, I like to get them out, look at them, put them on a shelf somewhere. I don't like having like the hanging wall of, of figures. So uh, for those of you that are looking for good packaging, though, that retro feel is really kind of neat. Um, it's very simple, very clean, um, very simple all around. Um, but I'll go ahead and open it up if you're a collector that doesn't like that. Trigger warning, I'm going to open this package. Um, should be pretty easy to open there. A little ASMR. Okay, so it comes out just in a little plastic case like this. The biggest problem with boxes like these as opposed to just normal boxes is I hate that it's unusable at that point. Um, I like boxes where you can open it and like you can reclose it and it looks okay. Um, not going to happen with these, but let's go ahead and get out the figure. So here is the Belloc figure. So as you can see, it's got that very like 1980s, 1970s kind of feel. The likeness isn't quite there, uh, but again, you're not buying these for like exact authenticity it's just the fact that it exists is pretty cool um i like cloth clothing on figures um and it's got articulation in the legs so you could pose them a little bit if you wanted to but i'm a big fan of like the cloth robes and stuff i like like the feeling of like actual material when it comes to clothing for a figure and then it's got this uh this piece here which it looks like it comes off the head yeah so I don't know why you would do that, um, but yeah, pretty interesting little piece. I think they could have done something interesting and had like his uh, his suit outfit underneath that you could take this off and see it, um, but it looks like it's just a robe that would go under this, which I guess is more accurate, but that's what he looks like there. Get a good look. And then uh, has like the little holes for display stands if you, if you wanted it. So um, that is the Belloc figure comes with a staff there you go bam okay so one down two to go let's go to the next one my favorite indian jones movie uh temple of doom uh, this figure again really clean case would look really good displayed oh shoot I was mistaken. So there's five figures for Raiders. Two figures you can get for Temple of Doom. I got to find that short round one because that looks right up my alley. Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and rip this open. Trigger warning for collectors who are hardcore. I open that up. Comes out a little case there. There he is. Really simple design. Again, you're not going to get a 
It's not, it doesn't look like Harrison Ford. That's what you're looking for. But, uh, and then there's also a sword that comes with it. There you go. A little, <laughs> a little chopping action there. Uh, but yeah, looks good. Even got the bandage on the hand, which I think is a nice little little touch. Again, with these little figures, you're not going for like 100% screen accuracy, but you want those touch points that you remember from the movie. And uh, again, basic articulation in the legs. You could do a little bit of posing if you wanted to. But for the most part, I think with all these figures, you're kind of standing them up the way you'd see them in like a classic Kenner display. So uh, there's that one. And then last but not least, you've got the one that caught my eye initially because it's huge. Um, you got the Whip Action Indy. I told you! So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to unbox it so you can take a look. Um, this is one you probably could preserve the box if you wanted to. Um, this one I think displays well because you can just set it up on the counter and let it sit there. And who knows, if you bury it in the sand for a thousand years, maybe it'll be worth something. I'm not sure. It, it doesn't have a specific movie associated with it. I think this is just a general, um, maybe Raiders. He's definitely younger here. This isn't Dial of Destiny merch, um, which I'm glad because I think... As much as I liked um, Harrison Ford in Dial of Destiny, like most figures, I'm gonna want classic indie, um, and I think this looks very similar to his Raiders fit, which is kind of the gold standard as far as like if we get in the best versus favorite conversation, Raiders is definitely probably his best. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Collectors, look away! I just creased the box. Here is the full figure. Battery goes in the back leg. Uh, no articulation in the leg, which is a bummer. Um, I thought there would be at least some, uh, but how you see it is how it's gonna stand up. Just like that, it stands right on its legs. And, um, you know, has some very basic motion. So it's got, it's got a little bit of a got a little bit of a spring action I guess if you want to flip it that way it doesn't seem necessary to me um, again I, I dislike that there's no articulation but the fact that this is the price it is you're not going to get all of that the lightness is really good it's the reason I picked it up the biggest thing for me when I look at toys based on movies is like how closely does it resemble the actual actor and they got the stubble pretty good they got the scar and you know the lightness he's a dead-eyed guy but it looks pretty darn good um, hat's not removable. Um, head does tilt a little bit, not enough to even be worth adding it. Um, but hat doesn't come off. There's a little bit of a, a crease here in between the hat that separates him and the, but overall, again, for the cost, like there's more detail than you'd expect. The jacket looks good. Shirt looks good. Not crazy about the, uh, you know, not, not crazy about some of the stuff they had to do for the sound, but again, it's part of the, the toy. Um, and then you activate the whip by pushing this. So I like it. My biggest complaint, and I don't know if it translates in the video. It's, I hate snakes, I hate them. it's pretty quiet. The biggest thing is, so it comes out of this speaker right here. Yeah, so like, it's pretty quiet though. Like, um, I was opening this um, the other night, and there was like a little bit of just extra noise in the room, and like, you can't really make it out. So unless someone's sitting there by themselves, like, you're not getting much volume out of this little speaker, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, overall though, it's a solid little figure. It looks good on a desk or something. I'll do some pictures and stuff and show you. Um, but. For the price, the bang for your buck is there. The lightness is great. And uh, it's just a fun feature. Like, I like that it comes with an actual whip instead of just like a plastic coil that's hooked on his pants. So, um, yeah, so that's the stuff. We got the uh, the whip action Indiana Jones. We've got the Temple of Doom Kenner figure <laughs> for, for scale there. Um, and then we've got uh, Belloc, which who'd have thought we'd get a Belloc action figure in 2023. So let me know which one would you pick up? If any, do you like the merch you've seen for Nia Jones? Is there anything else that you've seen that you think is really impressive that's come out recently? I'd love to hear your thoughts.